The Biotechnology Industrial Research Assistant Council, BIRAC in partnership with Center for Cellular and Molecular Platform CCAM, has set up the BIRAC Regional Entrepreneurship Center BREC with an objective of encouraging the spirit of bioentrepreneurship, facilitating the creation of life science startups and mentoring startups to increase their chances of success. This partnership holds a lot of potential and can be a real game changer. Let's meet the program lead for BREC, Dr. Bhavisha Wala, and know more about this initiative. To know more about BIREC Regional Entrepreneurship Center, we have with us program lead Bhavisha Wala. Welcome, Bhavisha. We'd like to begin with trying to know more about your uh, center and uh, the kind of work it's doing. So BREC, it stands, BREC stands for BIREC Regional Entrepreneurship Center that has been established at CCAMP uh, along with BIREC. So it has been established in 2017 and since past six years uh, we are doing various programs which helps bio entrepreneurs, academics and life sciences students and startups. So what, uh, what are the aims and objectives with which this uh, institution was formulated? BREC was formed with the aim to help bio entrepreneurship uh, pan India and the programs that are designed are according to uh, the programs are designed to mentor, equip and to uh, help bio entrepreneurs to move forward and uh, take their ventures at, uh, at global level and at national level. Uh, why and when was the need to have such an institution felt by uh, felt here and uh, like how did it the idea came up? So the idea came up because there was a gap or need which was uh, uh, formed or it was identified I can say that uh, the students or the academics and startups when they uh, have their bio venture then uh, they realize that they are scientists basically and they don't know so many non-technical things that they need to know they have a brilliant idea which they think that can be converted to a venture but then for non-technical things they do require help so the idea behind forming BREC was to help uh, students and startups uh, to bridge this gap uh, of non-technical uh, specialities that they require. That was a good thought at that particular point, really served the purpose, I guess. And uh, we'd like to know more about the activities and what all programs uh, this place is running. So BREC, uh, if we can divide into two portion, like uh, there are some programs which are for students and some programs are focused only for startups. Okay, so in, in case of students, what, that category, what are we doing for students in this? Uh, so for students, we have entrepreneurship awareness program and advanced awareness workshops. So in entrepreneurship awareness programs, we do a half day program for life sciences students where we explain them about the ecosystem, that uh, how the uh, life sciences ecosystem incubators work and what kind of help they can get from incubators. And we also have a IP talk, intellectual property talk, that if they have an idea, then how to protect that and not to publish it. And then we have a talk by young entrepreneurs to motivate them, that how they started their journey and where they are now and the types of grants that they received from government or state. Uh, and we also have an expert who uh, tell their journey and this is also like a motivational talk that they have reached now at this stage and uh, it will uh, motivate students to take entrepreneurships. And what about the entrepreneurs and startups? I mean, what programs do you run for those? Uh, so for uh, startups, we have uh, various programs like uh, we, have a work we have workshops so uh, workshops are generally for uh, uh, non-technical uh, topics like topics like um, uh, knowing investor term sheet 
or uh, intellectual property rights or clinical trials or maybe regulatory pathway. So those kind of topics which a scientist is not aware about. So once they form a startup, like it is, uh, you are whole and soul for that startup, right? So uh, you need to know everything. Uh, you need to know accounts. You need to know HR things. You need to know how to build a team. And you are uh, the technical person, the scientist as well. You need to know the R&D as well. So for all these things, like these workshops are there that uh, will help uh, startups for this non-technical things which they are not aware of. And uh, these workshops are generally half to full day workshops. And um, we conduct this uh, at different metros of India. Okay, so I can see a lot of uh, knowledge dissemination happens in these yes. workshops. So it'll be nice to know like who all you partner with so that you know all that knowledge could be brought together under one roof and be imparted to the entrepreneurs. So who all do you partnership with for these workshops? So for these workshops, generally uh, it is uh, initiative of BREC. So uh, our partner is BIREC and CCAM, but the people whom we call for these workshops, they are the experts in their own domain. Right? But uh, like for partnerships, like you are saying, we have uh, another program where we uh, have partners in different industry partners who are also involved. Yeah, by partnership, I also mean that the association with the kind of people. Uh, yeah, so it is it is the experts generally. And uh, at CCAMP, we have uh, a huge uh, uh, network of mentors and experts with us because we are 10 plus years old now. And uh, our mentors and experts in their uh, field, uh, they are the people who take these workshops. Okay, so you, do you also kind of organize some kind of investor meets for your uh, startups? Yes, we do. So we uh, have this one-on-one -on -one investor meets that we organize between investors and startups. And here uh, uh, the investors, like we have more than 30 plus investors now in our uh, cohort. And uh, uh, here the startups will have a closed room one-on-one -on -one meeting with investors. Uh, so that it gives them the privacy uh, to discuss things with the investors. And uh, then after investor meet, like if investors and startups both are um, uh, interested, then we connect them and then the talk goes forward. And to prepare them for this uh, scenario, do you also organize something like boot camps or you know such uh, uh, events for the startups? Yes, we do. So uh, it was very apt that to prepare them for this because in boot camp, you know, like we tell them how to pitch, we uh, teach them how to do marketing. So there are, uh, there is this uh, once in a year boot camp that we do for startups. It is a four day residential boot camp, and uh, uh, startups uh, like uh, we open the call and then on selection basis we call startups over here from 40 to 60 startups attend the boot camp and uh, in boot camp we have almost like 10 to 15 speakers uh, through these four days and we also have uh, three international speakers who come for this boot camp and uh, in boot camp we cover topics like marketing or intellectual property rights and um, clinical trials. Uh, we also call people from regulatory uh, related expert we call. And uh, uh, we also teach them how to pitch. We also have, you know, like small sessions of how to give elevator pitch. Mm -hmm. So like uh, these kind of, it's very interactive and uh, Along with the sessions, I feel it is more important for startup to build uh, the peer group, right? And here it is the best example that uh, we have seen is that the groups which are formed in these boot camps, they are from past six years also, they are still in contact and they discuss their uh, difficulties. And uh, we are also there in the WhatsApp group. So we can see that so many problems are solved between by themselves, right? Someone has, if someone needs a person who can design a certain machinery, right? Then there will be someone in the group who can say that, yes, I know this person who designs this. 
so it is like very interactive uh, that we have seen and the groups that that they form it is like the alumni or the school or college friends that we have so we have seen that relation in this boot camps okay so i can see the scope of the program that you are running is pretty wide so there must have been challenges some you know situations which you must be facing like hardships or any kind of challenge that you need to overcome to be able to you know put across a good show for all these students as well as startups so uh, what are those challenges that you come across in your uh, routine uh, working of the break so challenges we do face uh, like i can say that uh, sometimes you know uh, students and startups they do register for such things and as all these is sponsored by byrac we never ask any uh, registration fees or anything from them so sometimes it is taken for granted that they do register they say that yes we will come like for example i told that in boot camp we select 50 to 60 startups so people do say that they are coming and then last moment they don't come so i feel that it's it's irresponsibility from their side they are wasting the seat of someone else so those kind of challenges we face and uh, for students uh, generally uh, we have seen that some of the students like they are not uh, you know they with enthusiasm they start but then they lack that after some time maybe because it could be because of their studies mm -hmm. and that as well i can't comment on that so like those kind of uh, uh, things challenges are there but other than that we have seen a very good response and uh, a very good feedback from uh, uh, all uh, startups and students that it is something uh, that byrac has taken a very good initiative ccamp has taken a very good initiative to do this because it is like nowhere else you will get to learn such things where they don't ask back right mm -hmm. so it's a very good uh, uh, platform mm -hmm. for startups and students now as you mentioned about students yeah definitely i mean there must be some challenges because these kids these girls and boys have another activity going on in their life right. which is their academics so i mean i i can understand it must be difficult dealing with that situation in their life so how do you really manage to you know inculcate this entrepreneurship culture in their uh, you can say in their thinking or how do you you know dispense this knowledge to them so um, we when we talk to students or when we go for a program for students right we do tell them that uh, if you have anything you can approach us anytime and uh, i what i have seen is that um, over the years like like you were saying that uh, maybe they have some academic uh, thing that they is the priority at that point but we have seen that after Uh, they finish their studies they still have this in mind that okay there is something like this ecosystem is there mm -hmm. where i can get help so we have got some students like that as well that uh, maybe they are not very punctual at that time but then after one year or something they approach us saying that now i have finished my studies and now i am thinking of having a startup or maybe we friends are thinking of having this mm -hmm. and how you can help us so uh, like we tell them about the schemes and the grants that they can get and the initial funding seed funding they can get so yeah so are there any entrepreneurship awareness programs for them uh, which you conduct specifically for students so we have entrepreneurship awareness programs uh, which is just a half day but then we have entrepreneurship advanced workshops right so here what happens is that the students who are interested Uh, and who have attended our awareness programs they come for this two day residential advanced awareness program so that we generally do it in bangalore so they come here they visit c camp they see that how the startups are incubated how it works how the incubator works and here we cover uh, topics like uh, building a business model canvas or uh, how to register a startup initial thing will be like how will you register and then you build your business model canvas what is your value proposition uh, so all these topics are covered in this two day advanced awareness so uh, from there we have seen many promising students who are registering a startup and they take it seriously after that 
So what is the kind of impact do you think Breck has been able to create in the environment of entrepreneurship or startup culture? And with the people that you work with, you work with lots and lots of people, I'm sure, students and startups. So what impact has been created? So uh, if I talk about impact, like Breck has, as I told you, all these programs, they are pan-India. So it's not that all the programs, we do it here at our place. We travel to different places in India and uh, like uh, the student awareness program, which I told you. Uh, till now, in past six years, we have done 30 such awareness programs and each time it has been a different corner of India. And we have also covered uh, the regions like uh, Chhattisgarh or Arunachal Pradesh, uh, Meghalaya, Mizoram, like all northeast states, you know, where uh, Madhya Pradesh, where the exposure is not much for students. And to our surprise, like some of the students, they don't even know what is an incubator. So our first question is like, what is an incubator? So uh, like we can come to know that they don't even know the concept of this, right? So uh, I feel that it has created a tremendous impact uh, knowing about entrepreneurship, knowing about the entrepreneurship ecosystem and the support that they can get from state government, central government, like all the policies that are there for startups, for student entrepreneurs as well. So they become aware about this. So this is the impact on uh, uh, students' side. And uh, if we see even academics have benefited a lot because when we go for such awareness programs in institutes, uh, then academics also so many times they are not aware that such things exist. So even uh, they have their research projects, they have their PhD students, which can be converted into a venture, which they never gave a thought. Because uh, in if we see in academics, like traditionally, it is like you publish a paper and you will be happy, right? You never think of converting that into a venture. So uh, academics have benefited from this. And um, the startups, the impact that Breck has created for startups is tremendous. Like uh, startups from tier two, tier three cities, they have attended our workshops and our boot camps. And uh, so many startups where they have very less seed money to start with, then it is very difficult for them to, um, uh, you know, initially get fund to uh, attend such programs or which are paid ones. Mm -hmm. So this has helped a lot. So if I tell in numbers, then um, almost uh, 14,880 students uh, have been impacted through this uh, program. And uh, we have almost uh, 1,000 one-on-one -on -one investor meets have been done till now. And uh, we have some uh, 550 uh, startups who have attended the boot camps, right? So they have gained this uh, non-technical knowledge through boot camp. And um, we have some, uh, uh, this 37.8 crore of uh, investment opportunity and cash prizes has been given through NBEC, the National Bio-Entrepreneurship Competition. Okay, so through the competitions also you are kind of, you know, supporting these yes, uh, yes. startups and all. So can you please elaborate about any competitions and how do they work? So uh, this competition, we we organize this uh, annual competition, which we call NBEC. Uh, in short, it stands for National Bio Entrepreneurship Competition. And uh, this competition, uh, we started in 2017 and uh, it was for all bio entrepreneurs, like anyone has uh, idea in bio entrepreneurship can apply for this competition. Even if you are not a startup, as an individual, as an academic, as a student also, you can apply for this competition. And uh, uh, in year one, we had some 83 lakhs of price, uh, which has now grown to 16 crore in 2022. And uh, what this competition is about is like we uh, have this competition almost for three and a half to four months. Uh, we open the call and uh, uh, we get applications, almost 3000 applications from all over India. 
and these applications go through four stages and in the fourth stage they come here to bangalore for a two day boot camp followed by pre final and grand finale uh, so here the competition uh, has two parallel um, pillars i can say one is for um, startups and one is for students so i would like to say that we created these two separate things for students and startups only from 2020 because since 2017 we started but then three years what we saw was that um, the students when they compete with startups right in the final stage they all were removed so then so we the yes they were not getting the level play yeah. right so it was like uh, they then in 2020 we thought of separating these two having two different tracks one for students and one for startups and individuals Uh, so from past three years, we have been giving cash, given cash prizes to uh, students as well. And uh, here we have uh, our industry partners who commit for cash prize and investment opportunity. And uh, some of the very big names like Biocon, Novozymes, Anthem, uh, L'Oreal. Uh, right uh, if we see mehico then ankur seeds in agriculture side so like domain wise we have so many partners and uh, we also have investment partners we have investors uh, like social alpha ian sangam uh, enzia so all these investors uh, also commit the investment uh, opportunity and during this competition like uh, the cash prize and opportunity is given and uh, yeah, of course the investment opportunity after it is given after due diligence mm -hmm. the, through the investors so when is this competition held and how can a person apply for this so generally the competition call opens around september sometime and it is advertised in our social media and we also do a uh, quite lot of outreach through the institutes that we have visited and uh, through our startups we do outreach and um, uh, finale is generally end of the year so it runs through like it has four stages like i told it runs through 3 and 1/2 to 4 months and uh, then finale is in december well, you can see a lot of good work is happening in this space of entrepreneurship uh, uh, with you guys and uh, i hope this will continue and grow even more so what do you uh, see uh, the future of you know uh, entrepreneurship and startup culture in india keeping in mind the kind of initiative you people are taking and many others in the in this space are taking so where do you see india as a startup hub in the coming few years owing to these kind of initiatives so uh, i can say that it is a really good initiative that has been taken by byrak and ccamp and many more other initiatives are there in india as well and uh, this has put us you know like now we are number 2 or number 3 uh, in uh, websites there are some um, someone says india is number 2 someone says china is number 2 so i don't know but we are in the top 5 i can say where we have uh, uh, many entrepreneurs uh, or startups coming up right so Uh, i can say that uh, like we have put ourselves in a very good position and it is nowhere to look back it is always going forward and all these programs that uh, central government is facilitating for uh, startups and for students these kind of things we were not aware or even the programs were not designed in such a good way when i can say when i was doing my masters no one came and told me that uh, if you want to be an entrepreneur you can do this right so this kind of guidance that is getting now mm -hmm. to students and startups i think it's wonderful and it's uh, there is like it's always going forward there is nothing to look back in yeah surely we must look forward with all this uh, you know effort being put in and uh, i would like to thank you so much bhavisha for joining us today and sharing with us all these opportunities which can be availed by students and startups thank you so much and all the best for your venture thank you this was dr bhavisha wala the program lead for byrak regional entrepreneurship center 
In the coming editions, we will meet some more personalities from well-known institutions who are working hard to make a difference. Till then, goodbye.